Hello. What's going on, basketball fans? Welcome to another episode of NBA Central. C Dub, Bobby Hayes. We all in the building, and on today's episode, we're gonna talk a little bit about LeBron James. The number one place for your daily basketball fix, NBA Central. Hosted by the one and only CEO Hayes. Now, LeBron James brought the focus back on uh this Jerry Jones picture that was tweeted out from the from 67 I think is when it was tweeted 57, out 57 57 of him being on the front yeah. line of trying to stop integration of black kids coming into a school. Well, he wasn't on the front line. He's actually probably about six people but back. But the Washington Post did bring this up and it's largely gone untalked about in the media. What do you guys think about LeBron uh using his his place in this and he, he's always good about really speaking out on things uh to bring a focus back to it and even the fact that how people want to bring up Kyrie Irving and now Kanye West Kanye West who made some dumbass comments today is going to be interesting to see what happens with Kanye oh but to bring it back to the focus on how it seems like the media was trying to sweep this with Jerry Jones under the rug what do you guys think well uh first of all uh everybody know if you don't know I don't have high remarks for LeBron James on the basketball court, but off the court, he is, um, he's on the front lines, dude. He's probably one of the figures that you can count on to be a leading voice for the, uh, black community and, and minorities. That's what I believe. Um, uh, LeBron James is absolutely, uh, correct in, in, in his statement, um, uh, they put so much uh, attention on to Kyrie. I, I understand he did something, you know, that was kind of offensive to one particular group in this world. But when they went on and gave him a list of things to accomplish before he could get to that was, you know, that was a little bit off. Mm -hmm. And then when he goes into interviews, it's man, they pumping him with questions. It's nonstop of these questions about this thing. Nonstop. Just kill the, you know, just, just, just overwhelm the brother with all type of bullshit. But when it comes to this, which I think is a big story. And once again, let me, let me interrupt and say like, just to, just for Jerry Jones saying that he was curious. That's why he was in the crowd. I'm going to just call that bullshit all right off the jump. Mm -hmm. Cause everybody knew the climate of that time in uh, the United States history, which is an awful time in this country of ours. Uh, I would like to say that LeBron James did, us a service today by uh calling out these guys it, it, you know uh we need more you know more uh athletes to stand up for this you know they want to uh have all those momentum intensity with the questions about the bullshit but he had to ask the media why y'all ain't asked this question to me mm. like you know this is a this is this is a hot story in the media what jerry you hear what jerry jones say i'm curious uh he don't believe none of those people in that crowd knew what was going on yeah, if you all get your come on, dude. So I'm gonna just go ahead and applaud LeBron James. I'm beyond the basketball. Uh, this guy's been stand up beyond any other athlete that ever I, in U.S. history. I'm gonna ah, let me be be careful because you know you got Muhammad Ali and and people like that. Say, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah gotta be careful. But in this generation, you could definitely say LeBron been head and shoulders, even above Michael Jordan, who chose not to participate in these these type of social um social things social experience or whatever words you want to put in there but i applaud lebron james i applaud for sure for sure what do you think bobby first and first good word uh, um the crazy thing is is that even though Kyrie didn't say anything, he just posted a photo you know what i'm saying you can interpret that how you want but if that just situation from both angles if you don't somebody Come, who came out and said, I was curious on uh, which uh, that was bullshit. Question that the media placed in Kyrie's face, they pretty much wanted him to denounce anti-Semitic -se -se whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They want, basically wanted to go out and say that he wasn't, you know, creating Semitic uh, remarks. Why wasn't the same pressure put on Jerry Jones to denounce racism? That's my question. But then Shout out to Jay Williams for bringing it to the forefront and saying that on Keyshawn J. Will and Max. I always got to get some or respect when they call out. After all these different situations, Jerry Jones still has announced racism. I know we're China, we kick it, we laugh. We don't give a fuck where you come from, what race you do. We're going to rock with you if you cool peoples. And that's how we expect it to be 
know, reciprocated. But it ain't the first thing like this. Oh, they drug Watson, and rightfully so. He's a stupid motherfucker. And I'm gonna call. I'm gonna keep it how it is. Like he a dumb motherfucker. But did we forget that prior to him, that was a former uh football player with the Seattle Seahawks named Chad Wheeler, who damn near strangled his black woman to death. Mm. We forgot about that. Mm. Yes, mm. because they yes because they played that shit one round on ESPN, and they made sure they ensured that we knew every time the number increased with Deshaun Watson that we knew about it. But we still ain't heard no other information come out about Chad Willow. They did the same thing about with Riley Cooper as well. And the N-word mm. and all his stuff. Ain't nothing to do, man. Bobby dropping facts. <laughs> um, and much like much like C-Dub, I'm not the biggest. I, I, I have issues with LeBron on the court. The one thing that I can poke no holes in LeBron James in is is – his activism is the things that he does in the communities, how he does use his platform to speak out on things. I would go back to this with LeBron when he wore the I can't breathe shirt in in, in warmups at, at a time where not a lot of we especially no offense, Bobby. Bobby hasn't seen this as much, but me and C-Dub more so when athletes did not speak about things other than sports, really. When Charles Barkley came out with the I am not a role model thing, it people were completely because. As athletes, you you were expected to just go and play, push your shoes, do your advertisements, and go sit down somewhere. LeBron James is really the first athlete that is the face of one of the major sports to, to speak out consistently about and use his platforms to talk about things like this. So shout out to LeBron for bringing attention to this because I tell you what, I guarantee, I guarantee freaking to you. For example, if Kyrie Irving, there was a picture that was released of him being somewhere that even remotely could have been anti-Semitic, it would have never went away. Never went away. The fact that it's this, and I know this was decades and decades and decades and decades ago, but let's not act like Jerry Jones still doesn't display some of this bullshit in the fact that he still, a little bit, he, he tries to to do the, the the gaslighting thing, but he still treats his players to a degree like they're his fucking property. Mm. Mm. Let's not ignore the mm. fact that of how Jerry Jones talks about, like, yeah, he tries to boost up players that play for him, but let's not act like there's not always been something about Jerry. Listen, you got to stop ignoring it. And I, I, for one, am tired of it. I'm tired of the fact that it, like, don't get me wrong. Kyrie did something that was questionable. Kanye did shit that's questionable. I'm not saying let's not talk about that, but let's not ignore these people, these other people, just because they're rich, white, and got a little bit of money, and make that sweep this shit under the rug. This motherfucker needs to answer for this. And then motherfuckers is, is sitting here trying to excuse it as, oh, well, he looks confused in the pick. He looks like he's trying to figure out. No, he looks like he's saying them N words need to get up out of here in that pick. Period. You already know. Absolutely. Just on yeah. point. I love it. And but and and I do want I do want to say this. Like, you know, I know that was uh what 60 years ago, 57 years ago. Maybe people change. Maybe people change. I know you know it's a young kid, but to say at 14 years old, you can't hold a 14-year-old accountable. Uh 14 year olds can get pregnant, 14 year olds can have a job, you know. I ain't saying they grown, but they but they know what the fuck is going on. They're not stupid. You know what I'm saying? And I'm sure uh, it was announced in that school weeks prior, maybe months prior, that we're going to be integrating. We're going to have six young black kids <laughs> that's going to be joining this school. So you're curious to what? I don't understand what he's curious about. Maybe that's his lawyer, you know, giving him something to say. I, I don't know. But it really wasn't about Jerry Jones. It was just about the media, media. putting them in. Yeah. It was about the media putting them in their place and how they pick and choose stories to run with. And it's a specific color that they definitely like to put their foot on their neck. Definitely. Because they like they like to try to put people back in line. Like as much as, as much as things grow and change, some shit still stays the same. And that's one of the things. It just they've they've changed the methods they use to try to keep people in line. Yeah, right? absolutely, absolutely. You got to change well, with I the times. Know. You got to. Yeah. Bro. Yeah, just no, which I, uh, if, if you ain't got just you know accuse him and come out and be like I don't believe in racism. Some even though we know have yeah, shit is right. bullshit, but make a statement y'all, or pressure him and pressure him like y'all pressure Kyrie and like some of the stuff mm -hmm. that Kyrie has done in the past year you can criticize, but you know what I'm saying. 
throw that heat, throw the smoke at the other. At the end, right, uh, when you say um, say he renounced racism, like, Jerry Jones is a businessman at first. I think he, I, you know what I'm saying, above, like, any kind of hatred, any kind of racism he has. He's a, mm -hmm. he's you know, he's married to his money. He's a billionaire. So as long as it ain't fucking with that, with them dollar signs, you ain't going to hear shit from him. He ain't got to, he ain't got to go down. send some words like, okay, you got the picture. They ain't got nothing to do with me. Oh, bro, that's Facts. exactly how he think. Well. Absolutely. <laughs> I theory though. Okay. Remember, and Hayes, you probably thought about it. Um, you probably thought about it too. Remember a month ago when they was trying to ask Snyder out of his stuff and he said he got dirt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He did say that. This might be the he did. This start of the dirt. Everybody, everybody might... gonna go down with me. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's what he said. If I'm going down, everybody going down with me. Oh my goodness. He did say that. that I don't was... think this the beginning. This is the end. This is just the beginning. Ah, nah, Jerry Jones, he, he gonna get off. He he just gonna let it go away. He just gonna let it go. He don't give a shit, dude. I don't think he care. Honestly, it's really sad though, cause because the black people that make he already made a fortune. You know what I'm saying? He was already rich, but black off the backs of black people. Yeah, but this guy, dude, come on, all these football players. What would he be without us, bro? This is what true. would he be? <laughs> that's crazy man but again shout out to lebron james for being attention to it and speaking out, out about it and being the voice because listen that's not easy to do uh, we sit here and, and we can do it because we ain't got millions of dollars invested in anything in a million eyes <laughs> on us we can yeah. talk about whatever the hell we want to talk about so yeah. you know shout out to lebron for doing it man I'm, I'm glad that he did and uh we'll see how it continues to grow and develop man yeah, absolutely. Uh, absolutely. Uh, I, I gotta respect LeBron James, man. I, I ain't never said that ever in my life. I gotta respect LeBron James, bro. I never said that out loud, just on the basketball sense. But now you gotta you gotta be mature and peep that dude is a he's a leading figure in this in in these social injustice, if you want to say, oh. or these racial injustice. He is a leading figure. Look at George Floyd. Look at. Uh, I can't breathe. You you know all these things. He he been out there. He ain't scared. Mike didn't. You know. Mike do his, Mike did some things now, but he ain't out later front. in life. Yeah, but he's just like LeBron. with Kobe. Kobe, yeah, and that's the one thing later. that we, we got we got robbed from Kobe because it seemed it seemed like Kobe was heavily about to start going into into Absolutely. this type of thing, and then unfortunately he was taken. Yep. But um, yeah, that's why I said like I mm -hmm. it, it, it's it, LeBron's really the first one that's the face of the league while still currently playing doing this type of thing, Absolutely. and it's been and it's really been for like. Over a decade, That's he's been good. doing this consistently. So, yeah, we got to respect LeBron. Salute you on this one, Big yes, Head. Sir. That's yeah, good and, stuff. And just because, just because, uh, of course, <laughs> he both, say yeah. respect, Le respect <laughs> LeBron. He' about to go take several shots after this to wash that taste out of his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> it's over with. You are. We're, we're gonna walk in like damn. See that? Why it look like you just ate some nasty, man? I just said I respect <laughs> LeBron. Right. I definitely got some. I got some scope. I'm, I got some scope. I'm finna go hit up right now. <laughs> oh, bro, <laughs> that's hilarious, man. He going but all crazy. right, man. Thank you for joining us, fellas, man. Go ahead and give them the socials, man. Let's get up out of here. Go ahead. Hey, y'all. If y'all want more for me and C Dub, hit us up on Shy Bulls Podcast. And y'all already know, hit my man's Hayes up on all social media platforms at CEO Hayes. There you go. And we ain't got no social media for this channel yet. We need to get that together, but we do got an email. If you want to email us, it's NBA Central Show at gmail.com. But for C Dub, Bobby, we out this mug. Peace, y'all. This has been a presentation of the Breaks, Breaks, Breaks Media. 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 Media.